The Ukrainian Consul General of San Francisco was in Spokane today. He was here to talk to communities about how they can help and prepare for incoming refugees. Crim 2's Janelle Finch spoke with the Ukrainian diplomat as well as a former refugee about how people can support those who are now fleeing their country. Janelle? The role of the Consul General is to represent Ukraine on a political level here in the States. With the war top of mind, a top priority in mo is mobilizing support for Ukraine and assistance on a state level. That mission is what brought the Ukrainian representative to Spokane. Today, the Consul General spoke at a local church to share information from the Ukrainian government and answer questions about visas and immigrations for refugees looking to find safety in the States. About 40 people attended the support rally. This is a very good example of when you really can help your, even the people you don't know, because sometimes it's not their friends and their relatives, it's just the people, the families who need the help and people help. In the audience were members of Spokane's Ukrainian community, supporters and former refugees. Sitting in the front row was Gino Pikulik. He says his desire to help refugees comes from his heart, but also the experience of knowing their situation. Today's refugee fleeing from the war in Ukraine, they're, uh, they're facing many, many problems on the way. They're exact same uh, the problems that I faced 27 years ago. So it's dear to my heart to just drop things that I was uh, doing and start helping refugees. It, I feel it, it's, it's my duty now. Bikulik says to help Ukrainian refugees displaced by the war, he displaced himself. I actually moved away from my place where I lived. Uh, so I rented a different place and I housed refugees in the place, in, in the place where I lived. So a family of four moved in into my place. So that's the least I could do. In the last two months since the war in Ukraine started, he says he's seen 12 Ukrainian families come to Spokane. He says for those who don't know where to start helping, People can donate clothes to Ukraine Closet or money to the Spokane Slavic Association. He also says people can write letters to local government officials about easing the immigration process for refugees. Last Thursday, President Joe Biden announced Uniting for Ukraine. It's a new streamlined process to help provide Ukrainian refugees with opportunities to come to the United States. According to Homeland Security, if applicants meet program qualifications, the process could allow Ukrainian citizens and their immediate family members to come and stay in the States for up to two years. In the newsroom, Janelle Finch, Krem 2 News.